Should I reduce the amount of resistance that the TheraBand is giving? Move it, move it back up to where it was, uh, decrease the resistance arm. Yeah, I could get in closer, have more of a slack right there, and it'll resist less. So again, it's kind of a trial error of how tight to pull the TheraBand. All right, and then? Abductors. All right, what do you think about my technique? You're rotating. So just like we did with manual muscle testing, the toes need to point which way? Forward. Sure. So I'm emphasizing the actual hip abductors right here. When you point the toe out, what is it again? I'm trying to remember to get that. Isn't there a specific muscle that would be emphasized? Tensor. Yeah. Right. Tensor. Well, tensor fascia lata would be like this. No. Hip flexion and abductor at the same time. If I roll out like this, I'm emphasizing my hip flexion oh, as a substitution to it. So I'm trying to do straight hip abductors as much as possible. Okay, now, uh, often these exercises are done in line, again, uh, in a hospital setting. So why don't you lie on your left side? So hip abductors. How about uh, hip abductors? We'll switch legs here. Go ahead and straighten out this leg. Stay on your side. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right, get that in front of you. All right, what you're going to try to do is lift this leg up, keeping your knee straight, and back down. If you need to move this leg so it's easier for you, you can. All right, and keep your toes pointed straight out that way. Okay, and is it possible to give resistance to this? Yes. Yeah, give manual resistance or just like we did with manual muscle testing. And the axis is where? The axis. <laughs> 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 Should I ask you? <laughs> All right, I could make a short resistance arm or a long resistance arm. We're going to do that in a few days. Is this manual resistance? All right, smarty pants. <laughs> Whichever leg. Okay, good. Now, oh yeah, okay. Show me emphasizing gluteus maximus and minimizing the hamstring. Oh. Nice. Very nice. Why you're the president? <laughs> oh! Very good. Now, Thomas, explain to the class why that minimized your hamstrings. Because that made the... Because <clears throat> that created passive... Active. Active. I, don't, I don't know that right now. <laughs> Who will help Thomas out with it? Yeah, <laughs> so we shortened the hamstrings, right. made them less able to contract, so the gluteus maximus really has to do most of the work of hip extension there. So you see a picture of that. Uh, also, oh, let's try it in the quadruped position. All right, so same leg, emphasizing gluteus maximus. That's it. Very good. And down, slowly. Let's go up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Very good. Very good. Okay, so those are very, very common.